Hi everybody, welcome back to another <laughs> fine eye. <laughs> welcome back to another video. This video we are going to explain our big life change in our careers. Well, some of you may know this and some of you may not, but last year I resigned from teaching to do the full-time art thing and now Kara has finally resigned and she is doing the full-time art thing and now we are both doing the full-time art thing. Yes. Yeah. And we're scared. So, <laughs> so that's our big announcement. We are now full-time artists. Yay! I guess the real reason why we left our teaching jobs is we needed to follow our passion. And our passion is making art. Kara has the quote that, you know, we left our good jobs to get an even better job. Yes. I've heard her say that. Multiple times. Multiple times. Just not right here. And you don't even need me for this. For the camera on her. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I always tell everybody, it's we, we like teaching, it was a good job, we just want to try and get a better job and also try something else before we're of retirement age. I would agree. No sense waiting till we're too old to do art to do our art. Especially lifting that tent. Yeah, the tent. <laughs> my concrete furniture at times. The steel furniture. Concrete. My crippled self. <laughs> Another reason why we decided to leave teaching now is we really didn't agree where we thought education was going. From an elective point of view. Yes, because I was a shop teacher. Oh, sorry. And I was an art teacher. Uh, yes. And we were both in middle high school. Because we felt that school systems were making everything way too easy for the students. Granted, some of that was due to COVID during this last year, but this has been ongoing since well before. And we've been That's teaching right. for 15 years mm -hmm. and we can just see it progressively getting easier and easier and we didn't feel that it was really preparing students for real life. So that was one reason why we left teaching. There's also, we thought, way too much emphasis on testing. In our areas, you know, we, we never gave tests except maybe a safety test. Right because it was always, can you do this skill? Well, keep doing the skill until you know the skill. Well, That's kind of a test. We teach ours, we teach it like a trade. So you just learn all these skills to add tools to your tool belt. And the more tools you have and the more practice you have, the better skilled you'll become. The more gooder an artist you will be. Much more gooder. Much more gooder. Glaze review. Glaze <laughs> <Plays> review. <laughs> Another big problem that we noticed schools had was we never had enough one-on-one -on -one time with the students. When you have a classroom of 15 to 20 students and the class is 45 minutes long, if you can spend two minutes with the student, that was a lot of time. And we just felt that the students were really cheated out of the time we could have spent with them. We talk with kids just because they wanted to try something. I'm all, all for that. It's just, it got to be a long day from five in the morning until six at night plus the commute home. I would say on, on average at least a 55 hour week. But that didn't bother us. We're not afraid of work. No. Sorry, we're not a scared of work uh, oh, as sorry. they say in Wisconsin. A uh, scared. A scared. A scared. No D's. <laughs> no D's here in Wisconsin. <laughs> Unless it's there. Unless we're replacing there. the T with the D. Just that D's and dose. Tell your mom I says hi. <laughs> and tell your folks I says hi. That's not what we're going to miss, but what we will miss but what we will miss primarily are the students. We had a lot of good... We had a lot of good kids. We had a lot of good kids. And we do miss them. So that's about the biggest thing that we're going to miss is the interaction relationships we had with our students. We still keep in contact with a lot of kids, especially after they graduate. It's neat to see how they progress. And it's fun to watch them fall into the trap of adulthood. I know, there's a trap. Ha! Warned you. You didn't listen to me. Oh, no, no. I warned you, but did you listen to me? Oh, no, you knew it all, didn't you? You know, it's pokey. There's a pokey button. I told you, it's pokey. Uh, we're also going to miss some of the adults in the building. You know, the special teachers, administration. Bumblebee. Well, I like bees, just not, not in my face. Maintenance custodians, secretaries that we had a real good connection Aids. with. Aids. Aids, for sure. Yeah. You know who you are. <laughs> with that no button. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, with the no button. Uh, the last thing we're going to miss is our rooms because we, Kara was in her room for 15 years. I was in my last one for five. And it's kind of an extension of yourself. 
and to leave that all behind after you put so much work into it is a little disheartening but at the same time we know we have our new rooms and our new studios even though we're not teachers anymore we still plan on teaching <gasps> bugs it's gonna storm told you <laughs> We still plan on doing these YouTube videos because I like doing the YouTube instructional type videos. Those are fun. Kara has plans for teaching too. Sure. What are they, Kara? So what? I've had a lot of people ask me about workshops or even doing it online, whether it's tutorials on painting or pottery or having people actually come in-house. So everything she said times two for me too. And lastly, we have a message to all of our students, whether they are current students or old students. We did not leave because of you at all. You were the one reason that we wanted to stay there. But like we said before, we had to follow our passion. So if you are one of those guilt-ridden individuals who thinks everything's your fault, it's not about you. Please know you guys can contact us and you can visit anytime. Yep. Drop just, us just a line. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Yeah. Some of you have already done it. It was a blast. We want to do it again. Yes. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Now you know why we have a career change. And if you didn't know, we have a career change. Now you know. Now you know. It's a big, it's a big step. But thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you again next time. Bye. <laughs> Last minute thing. Oh. If any of you were waiting for gratuitous kitties. Some of you have requested more cats. We're putting it at the end. So here it is. Why can't we get back to cut some string? I got the arrow, I'll tell you something right now.